Hey everybody, uh, welcome to Crazy Tech Lab, and today I'm gonna to be checking out the absolutely awesome MPG Core Liquid K360 from MSI, which is a super high-end all-in-one liquid cooler. I say high-end because A, it's got a 360 millimeter radiator, so most things with 360 mil rads are pretty high-end. Also, the price is a pretty sky high as well. We're looking at 240 pounds here in the UK, which puts it right at the upper end of the all-in-one liquid cooling scale, right up there with the very best from NZXT and the likes of EK Water Blocks, those kind of people. So it's the first MSI all-in-one liquid cooler that I've actually looked at. So um, it's gonna be super interesting to see how it performs. And uh, pairing with that today is the M the MEG Z590 Ace, which is one of MSI's premier uh, motherboards for the Z590 platform and um, specifically designed for its 11th gen CPUs. We'll be checking that out in more detail in another video. So today we'll be pairing these two against the Core i9 11900K and also the Core i5 11600K, which I know that a lot of you out there are saying is actually a pretty good CPU. You can see my full review in the link below of all three K-series 11th gen CPUs as well. So don't forget to check that out in the description below. And um, we're gonna be pairing the cooler against the Core i5 and the Core i9, just to see how it performs with potentially the most popular, most interesting one. And of course the flagship Core i9 there, uh, which we know is bit of a toasty customer uh, when it comes to cooling. So if you uh, want to stick around, uh, we'll be checking out both of these bits of hardware and seeing how they perform. For now though, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because we will be looking at a whole bunch of new cool hardware over the next few weeks, uh, checking out a load more videos for you guys, including mini ITX case reviews. We're gonna be looking at some graphics cards as well and uh, a whole bunch of water cooling testing and uh, some modding features and um, looking at lots more Z590 motherboards as well. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also like this video if you found it informative and fun. And uh, don't forget if you do subscribe, turn on notifications too because they will let you know when I upload a new video and your support is always appreciated. Okay, so we're looking at MSI's core liquid software, which is freely downloadable from MSI's website. And um, here you can customize 
a whole bunch of things, including the image on top of the display. So the LCD display uh, has a bunch of fairly simple animations that look kind of funky, uh, but you can also upload your own images in a 320 by 240 uh, bitmap file. And uh, as you can see here, we've got the uh, the Crazy Tech Lab logo um, uploaded. And uh, of course, it's a uh, portrait image. So if you if your PC has the motherboard mounted on it on its side, for example, uh, what you can do here is just flip the image into uh, like a long ways uh, portrait and um, that way, as you can see on uh, Wanda, the logo is the right way up. So uh, not too much else in terms of customization, in terms of the images, but what you can do is uh, tweak the hardware monitor if you don't want to use an image. And here you can just pick from up to three different outputs, uh, data readings from the cooler, including the frequency, temperature of the CPU, and uh, if you disable one of those you can then select something like the memory frequency or the pump fan speed or the radiator fan or water block fan those kind of things and they'll be displayed in real time on top of the cooler which is kind of funky um, there are also um, banners that you can use as well and uh, also just a system clock a um, bit of a shame here that there's no kind of analog style clock that would have been quite cool to see uh, the display is certainly big enough to do something like that. Um, then moving on to the fan settings, and I actually kind of like this um, a little more than uh, MSI's motherboard software for the simple reason that it just feels a bit uh, a bit more compact and a bit easier, a bit uh, better laid out. And as you can see here, you've got all three different uh, fan curve profiles that you can tweak. And as you can see here, I'm tweaking the radiator fans. And moving on to the next fan, you've got that section there and um, also the CPU fan as well. So it's, yeah, I, I actually really like this bit of software. As I mentioned, it's actually a lot more compact and well thought out or well thought through than MSI's motherboard software. That tends to be very fragmented and the software just seems to take forever to install. And I'm not massively keen on it, to, uh, keen on it, to be honest. So... Um, yeah, but I kind of, uh, I really like uh, the way that this is laid out and up here, of course, you've got the um, the three radiator fans, the three Torx fans that are included. You can customise each one individually from the looks of things or link them all together for the same speed. As you can see, I've just done that there. You can also select from a silent mode or a balanced mode or game mode, which ramps things up. And um, yeah, so that's uh, that's pretty good in terms of the fan control. And uh, that's all done used using the USB software control as well. So there's, there are no fans physically connected to the motherboard. Um, all the radiator fans are all controlled through this software, which is uh, basically using a uh, an Acetec made interface. And you need a spare USB 2 header to actually control the fans. So moving on to the final section of the software is the lighting control. And as you can see, you get a whole, bu a whole bunch of... Uh, effects and you can do a static color display as well which uh, looks pretty pretty uh, pretty cool and the uh, the lighting isn't sort of the most vivid I've seen I don't think I, I think if you've got something like uh, a Corsair liquid cooler with RGB fans its lighting tends to be a little bit more vibrant but of course you've got the uh, digital RGB lighting so some of the uh, the effects like rainbow and uh, those kind of things they they look suitably impressive on this cooler so the uh, one thing that you don't seem to be able to do is to actually control the individual um, LEDs in the fans. So it's uh, it's pretty much a, um, a static color uh, which goes across all three fans or one of these lighting effects here. So there doesn't seem to be any way to control the individual LEDs in the cooler. So taking a look at some performance numbers now then, and the pump section does actually have its own fan pointed towards the VRMs. And as you can see here, the peak temperature for the MOSFETs started at about 61.5 degrees C. After a minute or so, it fell to 60 degrees C, then down to 59.5. And eventually, after a few minutes, reached all the way down to 58.5 degrees C and left on. After a while, it would get down as far as 54 degrees C under load, which is a very useful feature to have.
Moving on to the actual CPU thermals now then, and the Core i9-11900K with adaptive boost, boost technology enabled, we get a all-core frequency of 5.1 gigahertz, and the core temperatures peak at around 84, 85 degrees C, uh, for most of the benchmark, and uh, they actually peaked at about 88 degrees C um, outside of the test when I was just running some uh, some other numbers. And uh, moving on to custom liquid cooling, which I've used to compare the cooler against, we're looking at similar temperatures. So again, a peak of 88 to 89 degrees C, um, and uh, temperatures hovering around the mid 80 degrees C. And this is with two 240 millimeter radiators each with a pair of 120 millimeter fans and a custom liquid cooling loop. So on this CPU at least, uh, custom liquid cooling doesn't seem to offer that much more of a benefit. Moving on to the Core i5 11600K now then, and uh, we're looking at peak frequency of 4.6 gigahertz all core and the CPU temperature peaks at around about 64 degrees C which is pretty much what you'd expect given this is only a 6 core 12 thread part and uh, of course this is at stock speed as well and uh, then moving on to our liquid cooling as well we've got um, again an all core frequency of 4.6 gigahertz and a uh, very very similar outcome here so a peak CPU temperature of 64 degrees C and uh, which is pretty much identical to the custom liquid cooling. The MSI MPG Core Liquid K360 is without doubt one of the most powerful all-in-one liquid coolers I have ever tested and you're essentially getting custom liquid cooling level performance at least with the Core i9-11900K. You also get digital RGB fans, a customizable color LCD display, and the software was really, really good as well. This puts it in a similar league to the NZXT Kraken X73, albeit the latter doesn't include RGB fans, but it does cost a lot less as well. So if you're looking for the very best that custom liquid cooling has to offer, including VRM cooling, digital RGB fans, and some excellent software, the MSI MPG Core Liquid K360 should be very, very high on your shortlist. I'd like to thank MSI for sending it over, and don't forget to subscribe.